hey guys, we're gonna do badge eight. All right, so what was badge eight? Um, I'm not asking yes or no's, right? I'm doing a means question, which means you're doing a measurement. You're gonna get numbers that aren't necessarily proportions that are, you know, that are numbers other than numbers between zero and one. All right, now the way this question, this worksheet worked, it didn't, it didn't automatically add for a badge eight. So I'm gonna just um, remove this out of our eyeball range and kind of rewrite a question here, but use the same fact scenarios as, as the part above. All right, so imagine B said, carry out a test of the researcher's hypothesis. And what was the researcher's hypothesis? He believed, or she, that the VOT distinguishes adults from children. Now, we already know that it doesn't. Again, so this, this tells us that in the real world, we'd either use a badge six or a badge eight to make this conclusion, not both. Both do the same, come to a same conclusion. So let's do our state. We have our H sub O. We have to assume that the two means are the same. And what did he have? An alternate hypothesis. He believed that the means should be different between adults. So maybe adults would be more or less. Either way, if one was more or less consistently, then it would be a way to distinguish between the two. So the first one we're gonna make to mean the true mean of VOT of children. All right. And the second one we would make to mean the true mean of the VOTs of adults, all right? And we're gonna test his claim to see if they are any different. All right, so what's nice here is if today, to, in class, you end up um, doing badge six and eight at the same time, you can say see above, right? You don't have to write out your plan because you already did above. That makes it nice. <laughs> Let's think about what the do would be. So instead of doing a confidence interval and our uh, general formula is this, it's, we're doing a test. So we need a z-score so that we can get a p, and then we're gonna look to see what that p is. So that's what badge eight is. Okay, so let's do that. Our z-score though, our z ends up being a t as we approximate, since we only have a sample size of 30, right? Not infinite. So our actual, this, did we get an actual difference between the two numbers? And we did, these two numbers are different from each other, right? These two numbers are not the same number. And then what would we predict? Well, if they are in fact exactly the same and we subtracted them from each other, we'd get zero, all right? And what is the statistic? Well, remember, when we have two statistics, we have to add variances, all right? So that's why this formula looks like this. And when you take the badge, you won't have to memorize this formula, it'll be provided for you. So let's dive into the calculator. Let's see if it's ran out. Oh, it's, it's warning me it's going to run out of battery. So let's see if we can squeak one more out of it here. Okay. Got a lot of glare. So I'm gonna hit menu, stat. We're gonna go back to doing a stat test. And now we have two sample t-test. And instead of typing in all the raw data of 30 of each, I have the summary statistics. So let's put this data in our calculator, all right? So x bar one is negative 3.67, and our standard deviation is 3389, 3389. All right, and we talked to 30 kids and then in our second one, we have negative 2317, standard deviation 5074, and we talked to 30 people, right? And we wanna keep this, that is consistent with our alternate hypothesis. The researcher thought there was a difference. So we leave this as no. All right, so let's hit okay. And look at our screen. Wow, that's bright. Okay, let's see if I can so we can see it. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go back to our problem. I think we can wrap this up. When we go to our problem, it says, 
grab this. All right, beautiful. Got a lot of good stuff here, right? We have our tea, which is what we need, right? And that's gonna give us our p-value. And there we go. And we say, ooh, <laughs> it's not quite 0 0.0. It's not quite 0 0.05. So that's why we, um, that's why we cannot conclude that there is a difference. Notice we can come to the same conclusion whether we do a confidence interval or a stat test. All right, so what do we need to take from here? We need to take our degree of freedom. Um, and just remember to make sure we typed each of these in fine. And that's it. Okay, so just to wrap up here, we're ready to conclude, right? Because our p-value of 0 0.086 is greater than 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null. We wanted, we wanted to say that uh, they were different, but we can't. We essentially have to go back to assuming they're the same. So we do not have sufficient evidence to conclude H sub A. We can't say this. Students want to stop there, and if you do, you can't get your badge because you have to say what this means in words. So if we think about what it means in words, it means the researcher wanted to test out if VOT can be distinguished from adults and children, and in fact, they can't. So we cannot conclude that VOTs distinguishes adults from children. Essentially, we're saying we cannot say that they're different. Thanks for joining us, guys. Good luck. Happy studying.